Oh, I'm on. Okay, YouTube land, I'm back. The, the weight count is I only weigh 131.7 kilos. Yay! <laughs> I have finally got down to there. Now, it's taken three, three, four weeks um, to do this, but I no longer snack. I eat more regularly than what I have been. I, I still don't exercise. My, my latest exercise is just, you know, walking from here to the beach, which isn't too bad. Um, so, yeah, it does work. It will work. My tummy is flatter. Look, look, look. I no longer have this big round mound and I can pull myself in. I'm nice and flat. I'm starting to get this wrinkly belly now. So, you know, it's just one of those things. Yes, I look a mess this morning. But, you know, thanks for all the guys at work who, who support me, which is good. That's Chemist Warehouse, Caloundra. Yes, go guys. We're the best. We sell the best, nothing but the best. Um, so thank you. Thank you to my husband who helps me a lot. Cooks my meals for me, looks after me, does everything for me. Love you, my hubby. Uh, yeah, so it does work, guys. It, it is called perseverance. I finally figured out it's called perseverance. So, look, I mean, for all those guys and girls who are out there struggling... Look, I know how you feel. It has been a lifelong struggle for me. But I'm finally on track. So I no longer weigh 141 kilos, which is brilliant. I only weigh 131. My heaviest has been 144 kilos. That is what I weighed this year when I went for my sleep apnea test again. So yes, I suffer from sleep apnea as well, So, which isn't a good thing because most people that suffer from sleep apnea tend to carry a bit of weight. And that's because we don't sleep. Um, we look like we're asleep, but we're not asleep, which is a strange attribute in life. But um, yeah, look, it, it's called, just called perseverance. You don't have to buy, go out and go heavy and... and you know, say, oh, I can't have anything, I can't eat anything, I can't have this or I can't have that. I still have uh, some ice cream. But instead of having a whole bowl of ice cream, I'm only having two scoops of ice cream. You know, um, instead of having, you know, half a cheesecake, that I don't think I've ever eaten half a cheesecake, but you do over time. Because you think, oh, I'll have a little piece now, I have a little piece now. And by the time you finish, you, you realise you've eaten half a cheesecake and wonder, oh my God, I've eaten half a cheesecake. Gosh, it's hot. I just had to turn the fan on. But look, I wouldn't be able to do this without the support of my, of my husband or the guys at work or, you know, being able to broadcast on YouTube. Um, you know, so when I'm finding this fun, broadcasting on YouTube, yeah much to probably some people's dismay but you know life, life as they say life's a bitch then you get divorced and you get remarried that's my saying anyway I have lots of little sayings but um, yeah look I know how you, you don't have to go to the gym and spend hours and hours and hours building muscle because that's all you're doing building muscles and burning calories and then you go home You've got to put more calories into your body because you've just burnt what you've, what you've eaten. You only have to do a 15, 20 minute walk. And it doesn't have to be a jog. It, it can be from here to the corner for the first time. You know, which is, what, 5 or 10 minutes. If you gradually build your walk up, it's called consistency. You've got to stay consistent. Eat normal food. Not highly processed meats. Not highly processed you know breads and cheeses and things like that there is no such thing as unhealthy food lettuce is not unhealthy for you so if you want to go to Macca's yeah you can go to Macca's but not every day you do it once or twice a month 
You want KFC, the same thing, once or twice a month. You know, you don't have to go without. You just can't eat these foods seven days a week because it's not sustainable. Our bodies aren't meant to have... To me, KFC is junk food because it's deep fried. The chicken's not junk food. It's the crumb on the outside and how they prepare it. That is junk food. You can still have chips because you can make healthy chips. You can get the potato, peel it, parboil it, stick it in the oven, no oil, and make healthy chips. That is not unhealthy. There is no such thing to me as junk food. Junk food to me is lollies, ice cream, potato chips. That to me is junk food. Junk food is not a hamburger. Who the hell said a hamburger was junk food? Only if you're going to eat it seven days a week. The nutritionists out there are trying to get people to eat normal everyday food. Lettuce is normal and everyday. Tomato is good for you. You don't have to eat a lot of bread. You know, beetroot is good for you. You know, they're all saying now all, all the super poop purple foods are good for you. Of course they're good for you. I mean, what did people eat years ago? They ate meat and three veg all the time. Meat and three veg, meat and three veg, meat and three veg. And they still had obese people back then. So it must have been their puddings. <laughs> their puddings that put on the weight. So, but look, I'm going to broadcast again next next week because today's Sunday, I think. <gasps> and look, guys. I have bought my first bonsai baby. Look at that. My first bonsai baby. You see that? That's my little plant that I'm going to look after and nurture. That's part of my plan to put some of my energy into doing bonsais. So that's it from me from YouTube land. Hope you uh, get some inspiration from this. Uh, yeah, look feel free to comment not going to be offended so uh, okay let's buy from me from the land of YouTube take care and look after yourselves and cut